Hey, what's going on? Ryan here, live again, set the pace drive on. Dot com. Uh, do another live video here. We're doing uh, homework time. And I'm doing catch up on work time while the four year old is taking a nap. See behind me. Hopefully I've instilled the fear of God in the kiddos and they are doing homework while I'm out here talking to you guys. Uh, I was reviewing athlete plans and getting them all set up for next week, but noticing a trend. I know we've all been kind of hosed with the whole COVID-19 thing going on, especially I was going to do Ironman Tulsa in May, May 31st. That has been squashed and moved out to 2021, and none of the other events worked for me, so I've got 2021 Tulsa on the map now. Uh, but that doesn't mean my other events are necessarily canceled or postponed or put out of the way. Um, so I still got Des Moines 70.3 on June 21st up in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, and right now, you know, whether you agree or disagree, uh, governments, cities, states, they're all changing, opening up back up and kind of getting back to business as usual. Like I said, you can agree to disagree, um, whatever the case may be, but you know, if uh, cities and municipalities deem it safe to come do their events and um, you're still signed up, you know, Ironman is not obligated to give you a refund if you don't want to do it because you're afraid of, you know, COVID-19 and other things going on. Uh, and there might be situations where if you live in an area, they might put you in a 14-day quarantine if you travel out of it or if you're coming from someplace. That might be an issue, but who knows what's going on right now. But, like I said, I did notice when I was going through and reviewing my athletes that still have races that are on the calendar that haven't been touched yet. You know, June races, there's a lot still in the calendar. July hasn't been really messed with. August, they've actually moved a lot of events to August. So people with June events, you know, it is April 23rd right now. Um, I know things are kind of wild and crazy and hairy out there, but now's not the time to kind of just fall completely off the map. I mean, you can go back and, you know, maybe take some intensity out, some volume out, and do some different things. I know swimming is kind of hard to come by. Uh, I put out several dry land techniques, so I've been doing personally. So whenever a pool's open back up, if that's even a possibility, then, you know, hopefully I can jump back in there and not have lost too much over that time. But I just want to say... Uh, make sure that you're still, you know, you're kind of keeping a light at the end of the tunnel going. Because um, I'd hate to see athletes kind of go off the, the deep end of not doing anything. And then they realize, oh crap, everything's coming back online. And they're going to go ahead and do this event in the middle of a pandemic. And you are able to do it. Maybe you live there in town and you're just like, oh crap, they're going to do it. I've got no options to not do it. So make sure you're ready. I mean, you know, even during this time, you know, doing some fitness activities, you know, I'm watching my family going running by and riding their bikes right now. You know, that's one way to kind of keep a lid on the insanity is to go out and get some stress out and do swim, bike. Well, you can't really do swims unless you got open water, but bikes, runs, strength training, whatever. Get the kids out, throw them out. You know, it's supposed to be nice here in the afternoon here in Kansas City. So I just want to put a word of encouragement out there. Be ready. If your race hasn't been moved, if not, I haven't mentioned doing anything with it. Um, I think I even, like for Des Moines 70.3, they put in like some article online that the government's still planning on having it. So it's a big deal. It's sold out. Um, you know, if, if the states and cities are going to open back up and we're going to kind of see what happens out there, you know, if you're going to do it, if you're going to go up there, you better be ready for it. So. Just make sure you're, you're keeping some sort of plan going. Uh, the plans are still out there. Like I said, you still substitute things in for the pool work. Um, but possibly, you know, here in my neighborhood, we're supposed to open the pools Memorial Day weekend. You know, so that's still giving me time. If they do open the pools and we're allowed to go, you know, I could go at you know, open at 10 a.m. and just kind of do some lap swimming, you know, good old 17-yard pool. But, hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, you know, if the gyms don't open back up, uh, hopefully some open water swimming comes available, but, you know, there's going to be options out there. So, you know, keep the faith and all that good stuff. Um, just like I said, whether you agree with it or not, things are going to kind of open back up. And um, don't expect that entities like Ironman and other race events, if the cities say they can have it, they're going to have it. Maybe they come up with some modifications on, you know, spacing people out in transition and less volunteering help or I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but the best thing you could do is be ready for it. So, you know, I'm still doing a lot of my stuff indoors, even though the weather's nice, just because kids are here, I'm home, 
and I don't want to leave them home while I go out and do bike rides and stuff. So I've got a trainer inside, and I got my treadmill in the basement, and knocking on wood, that thing holds together. 12 years old, it's kind of tough, but um, so keep the faith that uh, things are, are going to shake out, and we're going to go on, and life will go on to some sort of normalcy at some point in time. So. What I'm saying is, if you've got an event in June, July, August, September, don't just throw it out the window. Don't just chuck your training because it's going to be really hard if you go from doing something and then taking two or three weeks off and not doing anything or one run a week or something like that. And then you want to ramp back up to half Ironman, marathon, full Ironman, whatever you got on the calendar. Uh, it's going to suck. Um, you're going to be very underprepared and you're going to burn yourself out or hurt yourself trying to get back up to speed. So, you know, even if you just dial it down a little bit, keep doing something. Um, so this is a plea for my athletes. You know who you are. I'm not going to call you out by name. And then some of you are overdoing it. I mean, we talked a little bit earlier this week about overdoing it. You know who you are. Yes, I was targeting you in this. Or thinking about you at least. You're my case study, like I said. So do something. Uh, keep keep active, even if it's just you know going on a bike ride on you know a paved trail with your kids or something like that. Or you know I've been taking mine out when the weather is nice. Um, I run and they ride their bikes, and I pushed a little four year old in our little running stroller. Um, you know it's not exactly the most effective, but it's a workout. It's a run. You're getting outside. You're doing something. So don't just abandon everything and then hopefully come back online when you know, things open up and everything it's a go and. We're just going to long for the ride to see what happens. Um, so it'll be caught off guard. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're my one of my athletes, if you're in one of the clubs or anything, just let me know. Uh, I can help you out. If you've taken three or four weeks off and you're like, oh, I, I don't want to just jump back into my plan, you know, where I was doing a three-hour bike ride this weekend uh, from doing nothing, let me know. And, oh, we lost connection there for a little bit. You're back. But anyway, let me know if you have any questions or anything. I'd love to help you out. Uh, like I said, I'm catching up now. Four-year-old's taking a nap, so that gives me a little bit of time to get some stuff done. The weather is beautiful here, so we are going to go kick the kids outside this afternoon. We're going to play the box game, the deck box game. Uh, I sent a picture of that on Facebook, so uh, we clean those out, and they uh, have a competition to see who can sit in there the longest without crying about it and wanting out. It's entertaining. I'm here. I'm supervising. It's safe. Parent of the year. I am winning the uh, parent-at-home game. So uh, if you got anything, let me know. Talk to you later.